What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views. Thank you to DoorDash for sponsoring this episode of Views. Wow, an ad. <laughs> Thank Holy you, shit. DoorDash. This, this is not all for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll the intro music. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views, the podcast where we talk about stuff. Let's open it up with a um, controversial topic. Natalie looks crazy today. <laughs> No, I uh, don't. Jason said that Natalie looks oh, like... Yeah, let's put it on Jason. Well, he said the funnier joke. Uh-huh. I just said it looks like she was dug up out of a grave. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jason goes, it looks like you're hitchhiking on the 101. <laughs> uh, okay. It looks like your beetle broke down. I'm just... It does look like your beetle broke down. <laughs> oh, my God. But to be fair, let's make fun of some other people now. Yeah. yeah. We were, we were just in the office, and <laughs> Taylor was trying to find out the password for, for the computer. And we haven't used it in a while. And the hint... <laughs> the hint for the password was ew, like E W, like ew. Yeah. And we didn't know what it was. And Jason walks in, and I'm just like guessing random things. I'm like, is it a dog sled? Is it Kids Choice Award? Uh-huh. And Jason walks in, and he's like, oh no, it's, it's Jason Nash. <laughs> 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 and his name unlocked the computer. No, well, I, no, Did you make that? No, I said, no, you guys made it back at the old house, and I remembered it because it's my name. And they were trying to figure out the password, and I go, no, the password's Jason Nash. And David goes, really? Let me see. Tay, check what the hint is. And then the hint came up and it just said, ew. ew. <laughs> oh my God. That's yeah, and then funny. Jason Nash unlocked the computer. I, I, I guess I, you know, listen, I don't like being gross, but it it happens, you know, it happens <laughs> as you get older. I, then, you know, honestly, I've always been gross. You're not actually gross. Well, I mean, I, I you tr- clean up really nicely. Like this baby mm-hmm. blue looks really good on you. I, try I only to wish our audio listeners can see you right now. Go over to YouTube and check me out, guys. This <laughs> outfit is from Lululemon. You know what I was thinking about the other day? If an alien spaceship, like the size of Staples Center, kind of just started hovering over my house, yeah. right? And it was like midnight, and it just was fucking huge. Everybody saw it. It wasn't like a little thing. It was like I'm telling you, it was like at level of where my house is, like mm-hmm. in the sky. Mm-hmm. We'd be freaking out for like. Three hours. We'd probably run in from the hot tub. We'd run inside, turn the news on, right? And then we'd be like taking pictures of it. I'd be TikToking it. I'd get a TikTok <laughs> and I'd put my phone down. Then I'd record it. But you know what I mean? Like tons of content. Like as supernatural and crazy as that is, as an alien hovering over Sherman Oaks, uh-huh. I would still go through the steps of like, well, gotta tweet this, gotta TikTok <laughs> this. And then the crazy part is, is like, we'd get tired eventually and mm-hmm. go to bed it'd be like 3 4 a.m and we'd be like well we are humans and like there is That's an alien sweet. but like i'm tired i gotta go to bed which is so crazy and the next morning we'd wake up alien is still there hovering yeah maybe another day passes same shit well, maybe I joe biden's in there <laughs> joe biden's in there negotiating joe biden's not going in there whatever whoever, <laughs> whoever is in there negotiating somebody and three four days Jillian. in to this alien hovering over sherman oaks it's old news that's what I think is so crazy. It's like we would all get used to it. Uh, in well, it's three- like the pandemic. Kind of yeah, but it's like that. insane. Yeah. Like anything could happen and humans will just get accustomed to it in three, four days. You're like a reverse conspiracy theorist. What do you mean? You like, you like, you don't really believe in conspiracies, but just like actual stuff that happens freaks you out. <laughs> you know, like well, I, just, just like, I, like I've seen you get really jazzed about like street lamps before and well, not, and be like, what's going on? How are these here? Because well, I don't believe any of that shit. You believe <laughs> we're in a simulation? This is just all too perfect to be born, to, to, to be in this moment in time. I just think it's such bullshit. Yeah? Yes, bro. Uh, like, no. there's like a past, there's a future, there's a present, there's like, it's all such bullshit. You know what no, I mean? No, it's completely reasonable and it's completely factual and it, and it happened. Like, technology allowed you to become a YouTuber. Oh my God, those tiny robots in your head right now are sweating, <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh my God, he's got it figured out. Abort, convince him. <laughs> Make him know that this is real. Come on, Jason, try harder. <laughs> no, I mean, say you'll hot tub with him more. Look at look at these crypto millionaires. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're just kids, but they figured out computers, and now they're billionaires or whatever. But all that is just because of technology. But I mean, you, I mean, that's like a completely different. Conversation. No, it's the same thing as being a YouTuber. No, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about like the fact that there are street lights, on, like <laughs> and that, like that people obey red light, green light, yellow light. Like you don't have to stop at those. Those are all fucking recommendations. <laughs> Everything is a recommendation. Well, it's an agreement. It's the law. It, but it's what, an agreement. But what is the law? It's just like it's just like a thing. Well, right. We're all taught the law. We all have we to are. follow it. <laughs> I understand, but it's like it's laws just were around thing. way before you. But it's just all bizarre. You don't think so? 
it's like freaks no, like, me out. I'm like starting to dis- disassociate. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I'm with Natalie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and if you talk to Dave long enough, you literally go Bro, into like, it turns into Charles Manson in here. Like, don't, over, <laughs> don't overthink it. I'm just like, look at what I drew on this chalkboard. <laughs> All of us hanging. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck? And like, it's crazy. Like I was driving through the neighborhood and I was like, everybody's just like living right next to the target or they're living like everyone just has like a little house and it's a little shelter where you go in and no one else is welcome like that's so bizarre <laughs> like you go into your little thing see what i mean and you have electricity <laughs> and you have water that comes and it's just for you and no one else can walk in unless you go come on in are you cracking open people's homes now the idea of a <laughs> I home i want to see what's in there because i don't believe it i don't believe in homes then, no, he, then in the hot tub he goes he goes i, I just know that Something bad's gonna happen soon. Oh, God. oh my God! He, like a clairvoyant or something. Right. And I was like, "Wait, what do you mean? What do you think?" He's just like, "I don't know." It's like I'm just, I'm feeling something. I mean, I just always think we're on the edge of it. Yeah, I do too. Like it's like, it's. I think uh, I don't know. World War, fucking fallout. Something's gonna happen. I wish you were a clairvoyant. Man. And I think it's gonna happen so randomly too. I think it's gonna be like someone's gonna sit on a button on accident, and send a nuke. I don't think it's gonna be like. <laughs> oh I, like I, I don't even think it's going to be like preemptive or anything like that i think it's just gonna happen i just be like god fucking damn it <laughs> why did this happen I, I i came out of dinner the other night and i ran into this kid with all his friends he goes to ucla and he was like jason i want to be a doctor he's like i'm studying to be a doctor and my parents want me to be a doctor i'm indian and they don't understand that i want to be a filmmaker and then i talked to him for like i don't know probably like 20 minutes and i feel like i did some good oh you know? sorry he didn't want to be a doctor no he doesn't want to be a doctor anymore and, um, you talked him out of it yeah i told him that's amazing. You probably killed somebody <laughs> by talking that guy out of being a doctor. I probably made him homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was like, go for it, man. You got an iPhone in your pocket, don't you? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, shoots 4K. I'm like, get going. Start making films. The Gary V of, yeah. of YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you just made him go from saving people's lives to creating a low-budget indie film, which could turn out to be great. Mm-hmm. Good. Probably not. Wyatt had a birthday party the other day, and um, these uh, two girls called, and they were like, we want to throw Wyatt a surprise party. Ooh. And we were like, wow, that's really nice. That's so nice. So You then probably I, thought it was a prank call first, right? Yeah. <laughs> My Wyatt? <laughs> no, and I, you guys are girls. No, I don't think he's a loser. <laughs> no, I know. Sorry. <laughs> you do. Yeah, we're mix- I'm mixing up how we feel about this guy. <laughs> uh, and so we were like, that's so nice. So I like took him out from four to six on Saturday and kept him busy. I took him to Guitar Center. And I killed the two hours. So after Guitar Center, you bring him back. I bring him back. Guitar Center is the plot to take him away, distract him. Yeah. Comes back. The two girls are there. The, not, the two girls are there and also like six more girls. What? And two guys. Oh, so what? there's like eight girls that are throwing the party really for him. So he's a player. So that's what I, yeah. So I, so I pulled Charlie aside, who's 12. And I was like, yo, I was like, why? I said that. I was like, is why like a player or something? Like, and she, she talked to me in like such a, it made me feel so old. She was just like, um, she was very kind, but she goes, she goes, I think your idea of gender might be a little stuck in the old ways. She was like, Aww. she was like, you know, that's so sick. No one cares about gender now. Like they're just his friends. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. Oh, wow. yeah, that is fucking. Wow. That's fucking insane. Charlie. Isn't that strange? That's like it st- makes it makes me feel like stupid. Yeah, yeah, it makes for, me feel for dumb. what yeah. I just said because she has like such a good point. Right. Because right. my head does go to like, oh, he's a player, but it's like, no, they're just his friends, Dad. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, that is yeah, so. That is very like. Wow, she taught you something. Forward thinking. Yeah, but it's also like <laughs> they did. They did that. I don't know. What do you How mean? are we supposed to know? <laughs> really? I, actually, what she said makes perfect sense. No, you're right. It mm-hmm. does make perfect sense. It makes sense. Yeah, she, it she makes just sense. has girlfriends. Yeah, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. doesn't really make sense if you know Wyatt, but he does have <laughs> girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> this may offend some people, but what's the, what's the easiest job in the world, you think? Like, you know how people always say, like, ah, modeling's so easy. Or like, yeah. Or like, uh, the, or like YouTube is so easy. But what is truly the easiest job in the world, you think? Oh, great question. Like Natalie's, <laughs> I saw well, that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be something that's like yeah, Natalie's job's tough. Mine was pretty easy. I think that. Jonah's Jonah's a really easy job. Yeah, yeah, really easy. Job. What about like a random like food shop? Like if you just work at like a cupcake shop as like a cashier person, I feel like that'd be pretty simple. Now, because like, you have more duties than just being cashier, you still have to like, clean up the place. Like, 
do the books at the end of the day or whatever it is. My friend like, owned a bakery. He said it was pretty grueling. There has to be something easier. Firefighter. <laughs> what? <laughs> Until so there's a fire. That's yeah, so but funny. Can, like they still have to serve the community. You on fucking crack? It took, I cut that out. <laughs> what would you? What, why did you say that? I was thinking security guard. The I, easest jobs in the world. And you went firefighter. <laughs> I, well, I pictured. I know firefighter. I know this firefighter. <laughs> and he was telling me. He was like, yeah, we play cards. We <laughs> yeah, we play <laughs> But I forgot. I forgot that he like, has to go into oh, a Oh, you forgot building. the actual <laughs> firefighting part? <laughs> Please, if you're a firefighter, don't get mad at me. I take it back. It's a very oh difficult job. God. We appreciate I, your work. I thought we were going to like offend some like models or like... Maybe some YouTubers, but like firefighters. No, we went, we went, we, we drove and we met this, uh, we, we were surprising somebody for your videos and the guy was a firefighter Ooh. and he was telling me all about it. Uh, he also, I forgot that he told me that it's like, he also like has seen people die and shit. So. I think it's like a really, like, I think he was just, he's don't, don't get it twisted. He's very passionate. Yes. He's very passionate about his job, but by no means that shit's fucking easy. I think I just became really enamored with the idea of like a bunch of firefighters like hanging out with like a Dalmatian and like playing poker. <laughs> Well, it is cool. Yeah, it's like pretty cool. <laughs> you know, it's, but it's like a, it's like a family. Yeah, it's like a family. Yeah, it's like it's yeah. like yeah. But like, yeah. I don't even want to say that the sentence that firefighting is not easy because I shouldn't even have to say that. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. right. Like, so let's just pretend that conversation never happened because I know you didn't mean to say it. No, I didn't mean to say it. And please come save me if I'm burning. <laughs> <laughs> your house is on fire. Firefighters pull up. They just start playing cards outside your place. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you thought this shit was easy. So, I really just liked that one story he told. That's yes, why I, I understand. Said it. Firefighters, there's probably really cool elements where they're joking around with each other when they're washing the fire truck. I, I or when go- they're fucking running into buildings that are about to come down. I a whole d- different thing. If it, if it came down to you have to save your son's life, he's being held hostage and he needs $10 million. Yeah. What do you do? How do you get that money? Go to you. No, you can't text me. Oh. <laughs> um, go to Mr. Beast. No, no, you can't like go to okay, come Rob on. Rob Mr. Beast. Oh, really? No, Jimmy, I wouldn't. But I would I would go to Mr. Beast. <laughs> no, I understand, but you can't do that. And he'd be like, Sounds like a sick video. <laughs> 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 There's one boy being held hostage. <laughs> and it shows like a map yeah. of the earth and it's like a little squiggly line. He's over here. <laughs> <laughs> I gave this washed up YouTuber $10 million <laughs> to see if he could find his boy. Um, okay. No, no, no. Other than a YouTuber, yeah. if you had to like commit a crime, like rob a bank, um, maybe hold someone else hostage, like what do you do to get $10 million quickly? Well, you're not going to get 10 mil from a bank. Mm-hmm. They just don't have it. Okay. So what would you do? Uh, yeah. I, I just, I just live stream every day. I just be like, no, no, no. I think you would have to like rob <laughs> the a celebrity. The answer can't be I'd work harder. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The answer can't be I, like, I'd probably, uh, I'd probably switch to two videos oh, a week. You have oh. to get it in the next 24 hours. <laughs> you have to get, get it right now, bro. I mean, I, I take your little brother hostage. Okay. Yeah. And what if I don't give you the money? <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucked. Fuck, I just let Toby go, I guess. Uh, <laughs> come on, you don't know? Um, I'm thinking, man, I'm thinking. Oh, God. I, Oh my God! Why is this so hard for you? Go rob the richest I, person in how LA. Am I go to get the moment and rob that you, shit. Okay, great. I I go to I go to Charlie Puth, who has ten million dollars probably, and I rob Charlie. How's he gonna get the ten mil? He doesn't have the ten mil in his no house. One, no you one, get like watches or yeah, like whatever bro, shit No one they actually have. has the cash laying around. You can rob. You can rob a museum. You can rob a house. You can rob. I anything. wouldn't be able to rob a museum. I wouldn't be able to get my butt under the lasers. <laughs> the, under the lasers yeah you know the lasers <gasps> i mean there's more than just lasers there's all those lasers there dude you're, you're not have to taking climb this fucking them. seriously i am your son's gonna die <laughs> where can i get 10 million one hit we can't do it man <laughs> don't ask me that okay you're gonna yell at the guy that has your son like that yeah well what do you expect me to do you man raise your voice at me one more time i'm shooting off his toe i'm shooting off wyatt's toe okay all right fine okay. just just tell me what you want tell me what you need and i I'll need get 10 it million dollars in the next day or anything and e- i can't live stream you you can live stream. <laughs> well, can you get that on a live stream? And, and probably yeah. Really? Yeah, I better get ten. What do you use? TikTok. Somebody would come through for me. Yeah, I do, I do TikTok. Somebody Some, would come. Somebody through would come for through. Me. Like John Stamos would probably pitch in. Benny Blanco would oh, probably pitch in. Like people like, like celebs a, would pitch in. You'd have like like we are the world style. Like Celeb Charlie telethon. Puth is like playing a piano. I'd for have your Charlie song. come in and he starts and it's like <laughs> there's a choice we're making. Yeah, yeah. And then Natalie gets the chorus. Will Wyatt get his head blown off? <laughs> <laughs> Donate money now. <laughs> Do you ever want to send your kids to school? Listen, if they could go to college, that'd be great. I'm not counting on it. They well, how about always... we help you pay for them? Cause we have an ad. No this way. <laughs> yes. 
No way. Yes. Oh my God. DoorDash <laughs> connects you with the restaurant. I'd like to thank my agent. I'd like to thank uh, everybody, Wyatt, Charlie, and especially DoorDash. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. And now you can get the... I can't fucking read. They never come back. And now you can get the grocery essentials you need with DoorDash too. Definitely rusty. Get drinks, <laughs> snacks, and other household items delivered in under an hour. Guys, I mean, I don't even know why I'm reading this. I know all about DoorDash. I, I don't. I've got it on my phone. It's all I use. I love DoorDash. I eat. Like you don't a use pig. anything other than DoorDash. Uh, no. No, not even message app. Uh, no, I, I do all my messaging on DoorDash. You can do that there too. <laughs> anything you, can, you does want. Does it all? Really? Yeah. Send tweets from DoorDash? Yeah, you have to order chicken chow mein when you do it, but... Ordering is easy. You open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. And you won't believe how there. many partners they have. How many? Take a wild guess. 4,000. <laughs> 300,000 partners Whoa. in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia. You can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. Oh For a limited God. time, you guys can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code NASH. Okay. Though some things haven't changed, it's still NASH. I'm changing why it's named to Door. <laughs> that's 25 percent off Nash. that's 25 percent off up to ten dollar value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the doordash app in the app store and enter code nash that's n-a-s-h don't forget that's code nash for 25 percent off your first order with doordash subject to change terms apply thank you doordash <laughs> What time did you start drinking today? Because <laughs> uh, I know it's, it's one now. Well, it's noon somewhere. <laughs> it's noon here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start drinking. Guys, Natalie's mom, Jen, is here. Woo-hoo. Which means I got a drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. All right, four shots for the four amigos. Dave, set up Jen so the audience can just like, get a little bite size less. of who she is while you pour those. And that I'm not an Don't alcoholic. Not at, not at all. Pothead. Not at all. Crackhead. Pot, yes. Okay, so let's Thank debunk you. this. Sometimes crack. So you're not a crackhead. <laughs> I'm, not a crackhead. Yeah. I'm not a crackhead. No? No. 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 Ever done crack? No. I had to think about that one, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, obviously, there's a lot of ongoing jokes here about what you are because you are a woman of mystery. A lot of people don't know what you do. Well, even you guys don't really know me. No, I, I, I honestly have no idea where you are in the world at I've any moment. I've lived many, many lives. Yeah, you are. Where do you live now? Where are you parked? Um, I am parked <laughs> in my tiny house in California behind Natalie's big house. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> so, is it true you live in an RV, or is that something we made up? Um, it is true that I have lived in an RV. Okay. By choice. By choice. Which is, um, which is the crazy part. It's not the fact that you're like, it's not the fact that you're in an RV. It's the fact that you love that life. Like oh, that's, yeah. that's well, what I, makes me I scared love, of you. I love being out in nature. Do you want the bigger shot or the smaller shot? I'll go right. with it. Cheers. Wait, wait, what are we drinking to? To you. Well, here, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Right. Cheers. 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 To me. To Jen. To Jen. And to all my <laughs> homies. <laughs> Woo! Wow, <sighs> fuck. Ugh. That's not good. You're so good looking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hidden uh, Jason. Jason needs some more. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. It's literally two Natalies. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally interviewing two Natalies. Two Natalies, but also very opposite. Kind right? Of, I disagree. Kind of. I don't think they're opposite. I, th- I think the only oppositeness is her trying to not be like me. Her going uh, out of her way to not be like me because like who wants to be like their mom? That is interesting. Right? No, she, I, she tries to push away, but she's like slowly becoming you and she can't help it. Interesting, David. What? Yeah. Why, look how, <laughs> Real look, fucking look how defensive she gets I will tell her. you that if she wasn't like me, um, she wouldn't be as organized and as good of a, as much of a value to what she does for you. Really? The dog just peed like, on the camera. <laughs> oh. um, the dog, dog peed, peed on, on the camera? camera. Dude, you did not have to point that out. <laughs> you could have just let that one slide, okay? Ferris, our editor, <laughs> just goes, the dog. the dog peed on the camera. <laughs> Great. And just before this, I was told to keep the dog in the studio because it'll be cute. No, I'm, I, I'm not kidding. I'm already tipsy from that shot. Me too. 
Wow. Yeah. Can can we get an this update on the box dancing? And last time <laughs> I saw you, you were very into box this dancing. This is my least favorite thing about okay. my mom is that every Here 10 to 15 minutes out of the day, she has an alarm set to remind her to do something. Brush her teeth, wake up. Wait, can, brush can you, I get can to you, defend myself here, yeah, right? Because, yes, because this has been like two years now of of getting shit about. And then I've even saw like somebody put in there like, Nelly's mom must be high as fuck that she needs that many alarms. <laughs> like, who needs that many alarms? Can I actually, can I see your alarm list so I can like read through them? Is that, is sure. that, or is that an invasion of your what? privacy? Um, yeah. I can't believe she's going to show you So this. Nelly's mom I mean, has I'm a bunch of alarms, for example, being a gratitude alarm and it goes off and she has to be, <laughs> she has to be appreciative. Could take a moment and just like, you know, because sometimes I'm having a shitty day and it's just like a reminder, like, all right. Yeah. You know, oh. These are the alarms that Nelly's mom has. These are real. So 9 a.m. is rise and shine every day. 9.15 is MDMA, um, <laughs> one tablet. I think it actually says MCT, <laughs> no, not kidding. MDA. It's MCT and fire, fire cider or lemon every day. Okay, this is fucking crazy. It's We're at 9.40, you have four alarms. You have, nine, <laughs> you have 9.15, which is teeth, face, vitamin C, MCT, fire cider. You have 9.20, which, which is music and stretch, plus 100. What does is, what is 100 it means mean? means I have to do 100 or something. 10.30, you go through your to-do list goals. These are alarms that are constantly going off on our phone. Every single day. Every single day. Really? 10.50 is, what does penny mean? It's just penny. Wait, but you guys have the like therapist. text messages. Sh- wait, what? Theater, yeah. what? What did you say, Natalie? <laughs> what is? Why is it such a big secret? Everyone here is a therapist. Who cares? Oh, Penny's your therapist. Oh, that's not a big deal. Okay, hello. I think in the Midwest, it's crazy. I mean, it's fine. I, should, I totally embrace it. I think everybody should be in therapy because everybody's fucked up. <laughs> so, not there's us. that. <laughs> well, for no, some reason, there's that. a stigma to it. And actually, there's actually, not a stigma in, in LA. I think maybe in, maybe in the Midwest. Well, I don't think still, there's a stigma about therapy. No. Anymore. Really? A little. Yeah. No, if you were in therapy when we were in high school, you'd be like, what's She the fuck was in therapy. With? Yeah, it's, but I didn't tell him that. <laughs> you were in therapy? Yeah. Bro, okay. you think I live with this woman? I wasn't in wait, therapy? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Here, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Nally was in therapy at the age 10 for anger management. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ma, what the fuck? Natalie, yeah. fuck you. So, Why do you never share these things? I, I'm your go. close friend oh. and you never share shit. There it was a dark go. time for me. That was And actually, she went to see Penny. And I went to Penny. It's the same too. therapist. Yeah. Penny. And then it just so happened. You've Penny, had the same Penny. therapist. You know, well, you know who taught no. me to take deep no. breaths and to walk away from the situation? Penny. Penny. Well, <laughs> not enough. Oh, wait. Actually, you Penny. do walk away. Yeah, from I walk things. away. So don't get you want to know what happened? So she was angry because she was 10. And like, that's the age where you start like. like you were in therapy at 10. 10. I think it was 12. Regardless. Same thing. No, <laughs> you were in therapy that young. Junior high. It was junior high. Yeah. What would she do? You guys want to take another shot? I'll tell you. Yes. Okay. Oh, David. All right, cheers. Oh, no, guys. Wait, what are we drinking to this one, too? This oh, one's no. to your alarms. Here's, here's to uh, the here's, podcast. Here's to Penny. This is the last this shot. Is, no, 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 not This Penny. is the therapist Penny for taking care of you guys all these years. No, no, no. You don't want to drink to her? God I bless mean, yes, Penny. but not like thousands of people. Thousands. Um, Millions. Millions. Billions. Oh, my God. Gazillions. Natalie's just like her mother. Here's to the success of the... Uh, podcast and here's you know to what me, this is called without looking and here's to what me having pod- a great what is this podcast day. called without looking at the logos the views oh, okay. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, cheers hello everybody welcome to the views <laughs> <laughs> so now we're at so so i, I didn't know about oh, this therapist yes yeah, yeah continue forgot where we were yeah, you yeah. had to take a shot break. I was not there for anger management. You 100% were there for anger management. Yo, did you actually you the. Seats? I'll tell you the. <laughs> 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 yes, because I had to like. You know. She was like standing like this. I couldn't see anybody. Anger. Natalie has a lot of parts of her life that she doesn't share with me. <laughs> no, I don't. Like, and she keeps like no. things secret. I don't want to bring it up. I don't up think it's you personally. Them. It's just, it's just, no, no. it's just like she put it in a box and that's where it is. That's so interesting, though. Like, I feel like I would never. I, I mean, I, I guess I'm different, but like, I like to. So, share. you guys want to know what the event was that ha- that led up to her going to anger management? anger management, the divorce? No, we can't. Why? Well, so she was at the age where, like, yeah, she was angry because <laughs> you she guys was... want to know the event that led Natalie into her biggest trauma. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what are we no. doing right now? No, no, no. I think it's. I mean, underlying. There no, no, was... no, I think it's important. We got to air it out, honey. I mean, wait, Nat, you were ten, so it doesn't matter. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So. Obviously, there was underlying tension because we were now his dad and I were divorced, and she had to go back and forth, and she was just entering junior high, which is the age where like you want to hang out with your friends, you don't want to go to your dad's house on the weekends, like right. right? So she was getting kind of pissy, and of course, who's she going to take it out on? Me, yeah. right? And of, and her dad was like 
Disney dad. So like she got everything. And so and I had so I had to be bad cop. He was good cop, I was bad cop kind of thing, right? So whatever, it's fine. I can handle it. So anyhow, she got pissed at so me. So brave. And she <laughs> threw a shoe at my head. <laughs> it missed my head and hit the te- the the flat That's screen TV, TV on the wall and whoosh, Wow. Shattered it. This is when she was 12. This yeah. 10, I think. Be right. careful, Dave. Why? I you might never throw know. You might get head. a shoe at your head. No, I no, made her. Go, so before. she went to therapy <laughs> and I made her like do chores to pay that back. And actually, I came. Just, I have I have the list. I came across the list. List of what? Uh, like you paying. Literally, you like you wrote like, oh. I will pay back. It was like it was some like Harry Potter detention shit. I had to like, write shit over. Like Bart Simpson. Oh, you had to write o- stuff over like a thousand times? No, she's just making that up. <laughs> she, she just said, I, I, Natalie, promise I will pay back for the damage of the TV and whatever the cost was. That probably was like $400. I, I'm sorry. So what caused the trauma was the shoe? Or No, see, that's the part you're... It wasn't because I threw a shoe that I just had trauma. It was because you were a little bit crazy. Oh, here we go. Were. Well, didn't you go? used to go around and like spy on her and stuff? She would spy on me. She would take away my phone. I was grounded every single second, every day. Even if I wanted to stay home wait, and not wait, go wait. to dad's. Oh, yeah. You would spy on her. She'd be at parties and you'd like randomly show up. Yes. No, that was one party. <laughs> and that was Sloan's do at you, Sloan's house. Do you regret house. showing no. up to that party? <laughs> Absolutely not. The only thing I regret is that I didn't get there sooner enough to take the alcohol that was sitting outside the, the basement window. <laughs> Did you wear a disguise so that close. night? I was so fucking close. And then the window opened and Neil See, reaches out and grabs have, like, the this alcohol. gratification from that moment because... I Why? Because like, you know what? You I guys were in high school. But when you, you were when you were in high school, you, you didn't go to school, parties. You, you were fucking smoking fucking crack in high school. <laughs> so so you were smoking crack. I fucking knew it. Tell us the truth. Were you smoking crack or not? <laughs> Are you a crackhead or not? <laughs> fucking stop lying. No, but you know what I think I'm about? sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think about this a lot. Like the way you parented me and the way I that I think. In high so did you try crack <laughs> at one point? Is it true you no, dressed as Fidel crack. Castro to spy on Natalie? <laughs> <laughs> Ask to tell you. <laughs> Tried on Natalie's underwear again? Close. Um, no, this is actually about Flying Hope Animal Rescue. How many times have you wanted to save animals? All the time. I love saving animals. Well, now's your chance. Oh my God. What is it? Tell us. Here we go. You know I'm an animal guy. You are, you're an animal animal. I, I'm an animal. I mm. love animals. Is Shut Natalie, up, Natalie. Where's Natalie? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Natalie's trying to... No, but... You do love animals. You take care of my dog all the time. I do, and I yeah. foster animals. And she fosters loves. animals. So do you. And, and I, I don't oh yeah, them. Natalie and I both foster animals. I didn't even know I was such a great guy. <laughs> We're already helping. No, but Animal seriously, lover. guys, um, where can we put the link? We'll put it in the YouTube video. It'll be uh, the description will be there. Um, but they they have a goal of a million dollars. They're fifteen thousand dollars right now. But their okay. goal is a million bucks. Okay. And like, think about the amount. I'm good for five hundred dollars. Yeah. Dollar. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm good for five hundred. Really? Send me the link. Okay. Click on the video. Okay, I Jason. Love to watch you. Jason is going to donate five hundred dollars, mm-hmm. and guess what? What? I'll double yours. What? I'm going Whoa. to donate a thousand mac- macaroonies of myself. Oh, oh um, my this, god! It's a really cool organization, and if you guys want to help them out, that would be incredible, and they'd really, really appreciate it. Go on Kickstarter, check out Flying Hope Animal Rescue, and make your donations to them on Kickstarter before January thirty first. Million dollar goal. It, well. A little less now with Jason's five hundred dollars, so we're, we're in a good spot. <laughs> and your thousand, and my thousand. <laughs> I'm like trying to like c- cut that out. <laughs> Jason's five hundred is going to be great. <laughs> Jen, would you say that David and Natalie are just like kind of basic? Basic? Yeah, just kind of like boring. <sighs> boring? Yeah, like a little like fratty. Oh, you like a oh, little you think like we're boring? No yeah, way. Like yeah, a little I, basic. Like I mean, like, I've like, yet to not, not really. That not that they're boring, but they're just like they've got a lot of walls. Would a boring person want to take another shot? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, David, do you want to take another shot? <laughs> yeah, I'm down. Jesus Funny story. Guys, come on. Cheers. Cheers, David. I mean, David, Jason, it's live a once. Sunday. Cheer, Wait. Cheers. Wait, come here, you. Another one bites the dust. You know, we have a love hate. Yeah, we do, <laughs> and we're the best at it. <laughs> You have a love hate with Natalie. Which too, what, so. do you think Todd and Natalie will end up together? I know you're gonna be fucking honest with this too. So whichever way she strums it, it's gonna be the real the real deal. I think out of you want the truth? Yes. I'm I am always down for the don't truth. Don't be funny, just be serious. I don't try to be funny. Sometimes Natural it happens. Babies. <laughs> Sometimes I can't help it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> out of the guys Natalie's dated, you think Todd's the best? Oh. Um Oh. Oh, it's a little, little bit of thinking there, a little <laughs> bit of thinking going on. Boyfriends. She's only had three boyfriends. Um, 
this is a t- this is deep. Come really? on, Jen. Really? I know her boyfriends that she's had. I think yeah, he's up me there. Too. I definitely think he's the best. Todd is definitely no offense t- anybody, but really, um, I mean, Whoa. well, no, it's a different dynamic. <laughs> L.A. is just like a totally different country. Um, Todd's awesome. Yeah, cut. <laughs> You know what, Todd? <laughs> Todd really is awesome. I'm gonna no, pay Todd a compliment. No, Todd literally will will text me, check in with me, and so that that stuff that means a lot to me. Todd's no, especially I love Todd. awesome in a relationship. Like no, he'll really I care Todd. about that person. He's, yeah. a, he's a little bit L.A. Still, he needs to be broken in a little. That's all I got to say. I don't think he's very L.A. at yeah, all. I actually, I think he's LA quite either. grounded. I mean, he I looks know, L.A. But, but, don't don't but, let his looks fool you. Well, like for example, when I was trying to get the Bronco, that looks dope. I mean, don't fucking no, hold it against him. When I when when he's cute, but when when <laughs> Jen, I, if Todd made a move on you. What you no, don't no, no, be no, no. weird. I'm not don't being be, weird. I'm, you I'm are being, being totally weird. Is okay. that weird? Oh, okay. so about it. so when, <laughs> no, because it's just fucking weird. It's like incest or something. no, it's, like it's we want to stay away from not, not incest. Definitely not incest. I mean, it's not incest, but it's like that level of like uh, inappropriate Taboo. topics. Ex- yeah, taboo topic. Good job, David. <laughs> we taught him that so word much. today. David's, David's learning so many words. Yeah, we We're so proud of him. We need to like lessen up on the taboo. We, we, we have okay, okay. down at Mathnasium. We gotta, we gotta make sure. You, you realize how many people are listening to this? Thousands. And like, it can you. go <laughs> this way or that way. Yes. And we want it to go our way. Our way. Well, yeah, my way. Jinx. My way. Jinx. Pour a little bit Jinx. for me. Oh my god! I'm gonna. Jinx. Buy me a tequila. <laughs> Nat, wait, well, Nat hasn't finished her cigarette. That's enough. Just give me the half. Just Cheers. I'm so fucked up, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so drunk. I am too. I don't know how this... Mission I know, accomplished. I, am, I know how it happened. <laughs> I am... <sighs> I just so want to say I love everybody watching the podcast right now. Thank you so much. <laughs> Really? Yeah, these yeah, guys are great. Of course. Like, I can't imagine they give me some. I don't know. Someone, really, you, like you said, like the most normal <laughs> thing. <laughs> Wait, you, no, you, you need to edit that out because you sound like a complete asshole. Really? You sure, Jason? You want to say I love you right now? <laughs> yeah, just let's no, just David. Say it. David, I keep for some reason calling you David. We I haven't do called look you like. Jason yet. <laughs> we do look like. No, I love the people that listen to the podcast goofy. too. <laughs> you, you, yeah, why don't you just throw it up to all the fans? You should never I just do talk, that. Let me talk to the audience. Talk yeah, to the audience. Let's oh take like a tell moment. Them. Right I in that camera. That let's camera right there. Mm-hmm. I love the people I meet when we go out. Like it, it is the like when someone actually cares about like the videos that we make, and not just like not just because they've heard my name in passing because yeah. they like know that like I'm a YouTuber or whatever, but like the people that like really care and they're like, I love you and like you've done something for me and like you've. You've inspired me oh, to do something. It's the best. Those people yeah. are the best. And it's like, the best. That like you know that like pays for everything I or do. Or if somebody goes, somebody goes, I I literally had the worst time in my life. I was suffering all this stuff, and then they're like, and I watched your videos. You're like, what? I always reference the moment when like I, I made a thumbnail saying my car was like I was in an accident. Yeah. And then I was like driving down the street, and this guy looked at my car, and he goes. It's not that bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he didn't even say anything. He wasn't like, no. yo, David, let's take a picture. Yeah. He was just like, he just, knew, like, he was so caught up with my life. Yes. yes that, like, yes. he just, like, commented on, like, we were friends. Like, yeah. I thought that was so cool. Yeah. Um, but I don't mind taking pictures at all. Either, I don't but, either, but, 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 it, but it, that's really fun. It is real cool when someone, like, really appreciates you, but, like, also doesn't care to take a picture with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, like I, I like right. you. Don't need you on my phone. <laughs> right. But you're cool. Like, right. I, think that, I think that's really sweet. <laughs> you okay, Jane? <laughs> <laughs> I have no one in my life. Yeah, they sound like, the dog. They'll sound like a dog. My hands get so sweaty. <laughs> Listen, did I feel something when we went to Halloween Horror Nights with Jen? Maybe. <laughs> would I act on it because of Natalie because I respect her and work with her? Oh, God. Yeah, I still would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jane. Oh, Jane, you Marvel. son of a fucking bitch. God, God damn it. Jason oh, spilled oh, the tequila. Yeah. Jen's knocking over the candles. Candle. No. For fuck's oh, sake. No. It ain't baby. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> save the, what is it? The Avengers. Jason's jerking off to my Iron Man book. Dude, it's not cool. He's imitating you. Does it ever get numb? Like, are you numb to all this shit that you have going on around you? Like, do you ever think back to Vernon Hills days and like how fucking lucky oh, you are? Oh, 100%. The this morning I came Wait, in. I'm asking him, not you. Does it ever fly over the top of my head that like this is happening? I mean, do you like Get the full magnitude of the lifestyle that you are living and where you came from. No, how I, fucking lucky you are. Yes, I think I do. I think the answer. I think the short answer is yes. <laughs> I, I don't want the short you, answer. You, you want do, the long but you answer. have moments, and we all have these moments. Like today, when I came in, 
and you were like, Jay, what the fuck do I do with my life? Yes, there's that. De- yeah, and like, there's definitely you know, moments like, where like, like it's not about? enough. You have a great vlog. You have a great podcast. Like you're doing it. Well, that's, but, but, but if those moments didn't exist, I would never have this in the first place. So those moments are still important. But yes, I completely. Of course. There's never been a moment where I've taken any of this for granted. Like from from day one, from when I was making six hundred dollars a week, which was I thought was like infinite amount of money when I was like first started this. Like there was never a moment where I was like. I don't give a fuck about this. Every moment I have this, I like cherish it to like, I think I'm super, super lucky. Um, and I, I'm super thrilled to have this. But at the same time, I do think like, like what's next? What do we do? Like, I think Ooh, it's right. one that's thing getting the ambition there. Part. That's, that's the ambition part. And it's like, not even ambition. And, it's, and the sustaining part. Yeah. It's like, well, one thing is getting there, but like keeping it going is a whole fucking another thing. Mm-hmm. Like arriving is like cool, but like having your place to stay for the rest of your life is difficult. Like, it's not like I'm a singer who who could write like a couple songs and live off it for the rest of my life. Like I think YouTube especially is like when you're putting out content, it's like your old it's news three burn. days later. Evolve. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you have to, uh, yeah, you have to evolve. You have to evolve with yourself. But no, the answer is, I mean, I don't know. Yes, you're appreciative. That was the answer. I think it is. And I, and I see that. I see genuine. But it, but it's also like, and this isn't to fault you, it's, it's everyone. Like you become, your environment becomes your norm. The first time I came out to LA and I visited you guys at your house, I like cried. I, I, I came fresh off the RV living like in a RV, <laughs> like in the, in the wilderness. And I like stepped off the plane and came to this, you know, million dollar view. Oh my God. Her mansion. first time in LA, she cried every single like, Wait, what? She How did I not know this? Because you were in your world. <laughs> and I really is fine. Cause you're 20 and you but I also going. like, like everything that we do and the way that we are able to do things is so exciting. So I wanted to like fully immerse her in that. Like, events like pr gifting like all the brands that reach out to me to just oh give my me God, free I went shit to the A-list and i cried she yeah i took her with me to go to this that's showroom. where you can get like free clothes and yeah stuff. showroom yeah. and they have like all their brands there and you can go like section by section through each brand and pick out essentially whatever you want and i brought her there and she literally like and i was walking through with like the woman for the PR, and I, she was just bawling <laughs> the entire time i was like i'm so sorry she's just not used to it. i get that oh wow that's but it was sick. Like, very overwhelming I came for her from very yeah. humble like you know, like I was a single mom trying to like make it like, so was your family. Like, like I'm sure that this is all like, shh, but then it becomes norm. Like now I'm kind of like, oh, I think it's LA, more, I need to get my Botox. I think <laughs> it's, <laughs> I, I'm not crying as much as you, but I think it's more normal. Cause like, I've seen it like, like a lot more gradually. Like I didn't just like arrive here and like, they just handed me the keys to this place, but like, they didn't No, no, no. You but worked for it? <laughs> yeah, but there, were, yeah, but there were definitely <laughs> moments where like, I'm driving like down the street. Like I remember I used to go on runs and like, there was, there was actually a specific moment. I remember it was like, it was like a year and a half ago. I was with Taylor. I was going on a run. And I was in the car with her and I was like, I was like this, how fucking cool is it that we're in LA right now? I'm so young. I have a place to drive home to and it's here. I have friends here. I have a job here. Like I'm not worried about about not knowing where I'm sleeping tomorrow. I'm like pretty confident in what I do. I love what I do. And like I get to do it every day of my life and I'm my own boss. Like I do have, I have the fucking coolest job. I say this and it sounds weird, but like I would have killed for this as a kid. And like, I know that's, Shit, yeah. yeah, but like, it's the best fucking job in the world. And it's not like working at a television show where like people tell me if I can come to work tomorrow or if I, if I'm renewed for another season, like it's all a hundred percent up to me and what I put into it. Um, so it's the best job. That's awesome. Um, but it is, it is fucking like it. Yeah, definitely. Sometimes when I'm on my hot tub, I'm just like, you know, hanging out in my hot tub, I'm having a LaCroix. I definitely maybe sometimes forget that like, whoa, where the fuck am I? <laughs> But I, at least four times a day, I go, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I know, I, you should set a gratitude alarm. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have for this podcast. <laughs> and on that note, no. No, I, I, peace, yeah. love, and happiness. I have a lot of gratitude alarms. They just go off in my head. Do you remember sitting out on my patio before you came out to California and you were perplexed about like what to do because you guys were graduating high school and um, it was actually you and Alex and um and you were asking me about credit cards and like you're like i don't want to go to college and like you were talking about like you're thinking about going to california and i'm like it's got to feel right for you and you don't remember that no wait tell me more this is so interesting um 
Yeah, like I'm like I couldn't predict like if you were gonna be sex. I could never in a million years predicted this shit. But, <laughs> I mean, if I could, I'd be like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> my best Go. friend, my best friend Dave. And, and let me come with you. <laughs> <laughs> what did you what tell time, him? What time we leave? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you were just like. Um, she yeah, takes like, full credit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then I was like, "You got to do it. Yeah, you got to like, follow your I was heart, like, David. You got to follow your heart. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's speaking to you. You go to California. <laughs> you fucking make it happen. And then after Natalie graduates college, you hire, ha- her. You hire her. And then she buys a house with a little tiny house in the back. And then I come live. And then I start my own YouTube channel <laughs> about and RVs. I think I'm famous. All right, guys. That's all the time we have for this podcast thank you guys for listening thank you jen natalie and jason for coming thank um, you jen it's really <laughs> nice that you took time out of your busy schedule to be here right now um and you kept the shades on the entire time it's pretty impressive <laughs> and shout out to ollie the dog ollie. he may be 75 but he still looks cute we'll see you guys soon this has been a views podcast my name is jeff bye <laughs>